viewers, we're getting you some more breaking updates uh, now as uh, Russia rejects U.S. claim that it may be preparing cyber attacks as a response to the U.S. sanctions. This has come after the U.S. President Joe Biden's statement that U.S. is preparing for potential Russian cyber attacks after the U.S.-Russia relationship has deteriorated following the Russian-Ukraine conflict. The federal government is doing its part to get ready for potential Russian cyber attacks is what they had said. And they had claimed, and I quote, we are prepared to help private sector companies with tools and expertise, but it is your de decision as to the steps you'll take and your responsibility to take them. Now, we have seen, uh, viewers, the kind of war of words that had also broken out between US and Russia from the very beginning of the Russian invasion that had uh, carried out in Ukraine. And since then, we have seen the kind of posturing that the West had been carrying out, led by the US, where they had levied several financial uh, sanctions on Russia and then had, of course, uh, Russia had also retaliated and stated that they do not want more Eastern expansion of uh, NATO. But now we see a cyber attack face-off between US and Russia that has also broken out. We have seen how the war of words had broken out where in fact uh, the Ukrainians had claimed that this is uh, of course a denazification. In fact, the Russia had also stated this. Now replying to that, the second biggest synagogue, in fact the rabbi had stated that it is the Russians that need to carry out this kind of a denazification as well. Let's take a look as to what really the rabbi had to say of this entire controversy. As the Russian invasion in Ukraine continues to inflict casualties on civilians, the chief rabbi of Ukraine has slammed Putin's justification of the war. Here the bombing to the civilians, to the lives of people that stay, stay in, to the, for the bread, to buy the bread. And they have the, so many witnesses of this. And the, what is this? No, no fascist? It's not, they come to escape, they say, we come to save. But they kill people. Russians, not only Ukrainians, Russians, Jewish, they kill them. The Holocaust, World War II and Nazism have been important tools for Putin in his bid to legitimize Russia's moves in Ukraine. But historians see their use as disinformation and a cynical ploy to further the Russian leader's aims. Asman said the Jewish community had been helping to evacuate hundreds of people from frontline territories. Agency report for Republic TV.